cool. Where did you get all these records? Hi, I'm Ty Siegel, and uh, this is it for Intro Magazine. Thanks for having me. Great band, yeah. No, yeah, my um, my friend uh, John Dwyer turned me on to this band. It's different than when I was um, in high school. You know, there wasn't really a, a big like psychedelic rock thing going on. There was. There's a noise rock kind of scene happening, um, which I loved. But it's cool because a lot of the guys that did the noise rock stuff, like Dwyer and like Mike Donovan of the Sick Alps and all these other people, they've kind of gotten back into kind of more psychedelic songwriting stuff. It's really cool because bands like the OCs and the Sick Alps and a lot of these bands they are still super noisy. So it's this weird kind of growth more towards rock and roll, which is really cool. So, but yeah, it's, it's great. I, I honestly, and I feel weird saying this, but I honestly do feel like there is a West Coast sound now, you know? And it's weird because no offense to New York City or some other places, but there really isn't like a New York sound anymore because there's so many different things going on. But if you if you go, there's like a definitely a West Coast rock and roll sound, which is really cool. Whoa, how'd you get this one? Wow, man, I've never seen this one. Damn, is this live uh, Motorhead version? I think it was just the live. Just the live. God, that's so cool. Awesome. Well, that's a that's a tough one to <laughs> to choose. I'm gonna stick with Silver Machine though. I think. But yeah, so cool. Um, yeah, Hawkwind is my probably my favorite band ever. Um, they're just champions of space. They just they went where no one went, you know. Plus, I don't really think there'd be a lot of heavy metal or. I don't know. They're just the heaviest psych band of all time. And people don't think they're a psych band, but if you really listen to it, you know, all the noise and like weird tripped out effects and stuff. It's so cool. Definitely my favorite band. Great song, Eight Miles High. Insane. Yeah, this band's such a trip to me because when I first heard them, I didn't like them. It was too pretty or something but then I got into it and I realized that, that they were just as dark as any like psychedelic band or any you know but they sounded pretty which kind of hit me in this melancholy kind of way you know I love the Velvet Underground immensely since I was maybe 13 um, and this was the first record I got but what's funny is I got this, and I really liked it, and that. But then I got White Light, White Heat, and that was the record that kind of made me really, really love the Velvet Underground, and it kind of blew my mind, and it blew my mind wide open to that band. And then I put this record on after, and then I was like, "Wow, this is one of the best records ever made," you know. So I kind of went around a roundabout way. My whole thing on it was can't really try to just recreate the song because it's too classic you know you can get away with that for some other like maybe obscure garage song that people don't really know that well but so my whole idea was just to try to basically make it a different song just a, a, almost a new song was my only goal because it's just too difficult to try to remake you know so yeah i think it turned out pretty cool but yeah it's a really great idea and it was really cool to to be a be a part of it Beatles are the best you know um yeah it's so cool it makes me I don't know they will always be the best 
even I used to hate Paul. I used to hate on Paul, but even Paul, he he can write some songs, like on the White album. Um, yeah, why why don't we do it in the road? It's like one of the craziest Beatles songs, and it's a Paul song, and I and that record Ram, his solo record. Do you know that one? It's awesome, so good. But yeah, they're all. There's not a bad Beatle in the bunch. They're all they're all great. I think I like George the best though. Yeah, yeah. His uh, all all of his Beatles songs are so insane. 